All right, good morning, day two. Uh, just got done gearing up the kayak at the ramp. Um, I'm an hour early, as I tend to do tournament morning. I'd rather be early, earlier than late, obviously. Um, so it's five o'clock, can't launch until six. Trying a completely new spot today. One of the spots I practiced, uh, saw some bigger ones uh, than I found yesterday, so just gonna you know go for it see how high I can move up um, you know top 10 is probably out of the question um, since I'm in 90th but you know the scores are stacked up quite a bit so even if I upgrade a little bit I'll uh, I'll probably move up so you know that's my goal try to upgrade and uh, see if I can get into the top 50 so let's see how it goes Good luck, everybody. Hey, throw me a rope. Throw me a rope. I was hoping to win this thing so I could buy a motor. made it to the first spot um, it's only like 10 after 6 so I had a shorter pedal than yesterday um, and nobody is here surprisingly uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing it probably got beat up yesterday but uh, well we got another 20 minutes till lines in so nothing to do but sit here and wait Come on, let's go, let's go, I'm ready to fish. <sighs> oh, there we go, lines in. Let's do this. Swim jig, a quick try. I'm gonna go right back to the jackhammer, but this water is dirtier than the water I had yesterday, so I'm gonna try this homemade swim jig in black, blue, and shark shoes. Call it pre dawn raid. What?
something is busting over here. Probably not bass, but nothing else is working, so. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Yeah, I didn't want to get in the whole crab meat chicken out business, so. Yeah. Well, the fact that I'm throwing a wacky worm should tell you all you need to know about my morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been a little slow. I've caught about 15 white bass so far, but. I've caught one crappie, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. So there's a, uh, All right, uh, what is it, about nine o'clock? Um, struggling. I got absolutely nothing. One crappie, that's it. Um, I don't know, a little chilly this morning. Maybe it's gonna be an afternoon deal. Or maybe I'm just gonna skunk, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, sun's starting to come out, so it's warming up a little bit. So, just gonna keep riding that struggle bus, see how it goes. Wish me luck. Oh. God damn it. Oh, you mother. What? Holy crap. Oh, and that jackhammer just fell out. Wow. Okay. Well. First bite of the day, and it is a good one. I'm talking good one. Whoa, 18. Oh no, come on. Give me 18. Oh no, no, no. Don't you dare. Oh, oh come on. Let's put you let's get you some water for a second. Make sure I got a picture of you. Okay. All right, I got you. Let's get a little release video of you. Good one. Let's 
see what kind of service we got. We can submit him or not. Mm, probably not. All right, just submitted my 18. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and get a hourly big bass. Get a hundred bucks out of the deal. But, I have got my confidence up. Let's see if the, I don't know if the bite's just turning on because the sun's warming up. Um, this was actually uh, right where I got that guy. Was uh, a mark I had from practice the other day where I got not wasn't an 18 I got like it was like a 13 or 14 I got on a wacky rig in practice um, so yeah I'm just gonna work this spot a little bit more I was gonna head back towards the bridge but I'm not gonna leave just yet after that guy off we don't need any sonar noise alerting them to our presence who is texting me don't you know I'm busy Didn't think so, but it was worth a shot. I'll have to keep going with the jackhammer. Gotta dance with the one that brung you. Don't you dare get off. Oh no, 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 no. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, now. All right. Number two. Another pretty good one. Drift into the stuff we want to fish next. Finally done with you. Sorry about that. Oh, that was a nightmare, but I got you. All right. There's two pretty good ones. Um, got a couple more of those. We're going to be in better shape than. Than I was thinking originally because this day has not been going great. Oh, 
Oh man, if I can get I'll, three more, I'll have a decent limit. Yeah, those two are bigger than anything I got yesterday. I'm not getting a lot, but I'm getting the right ones. Oh. Something just thought me, but it kind of felt like a drum. It is about drum, but they give a solid thump when they hit. Feels cool when they hit. It's annoying as hell to catch when you're in a bass tournament. This wind is not making it easy. Fish going to trick me into staying back here. Come on, there's got to be more back there. There's wind pushing all the bait back there. Isn't that what the experts say? I don't know. Makes sense. Oh. Drop shot, TBH. All right, this is silly. You know, jackhammer is the only thing that's been working the last two days with Cheryl. Let's try a drop shot. There's, there's some solid reasoning on my point, my part.
Did I fight fish this or are you on your way to that? Thank you. Yep, I've been getting snagged all day too. I got two good ones, but that's all I got. One hour left. It's time to throw the chopper. Got two good ones, but I would really like to get a limit. So let's just see if the chopper can do something like it did yesterday. Just saw something blowing up, but I'm pretty sure it was a white bass. So unfortunately, ended up back here in an area that I think is going to be kind of dead. Took a gamble and went back in an area I hadn't been to, hadn't seen. It's just a creek arm and uh, does not look like the right stuff. It's all just a big, big flat, so who knows? I certainly don't. A little bridge would probably be cool if there was more water. Let's throw back there anyway. I wonder if it's deep enough to get back there. I kind of doubt it, but what the heck else am I going to do? Nope, it is not. Okay. Kind of what I figured. I have no idea where to go because there is just nothing back here. We done goofed. Oh well. Alright, we made a last ditch run back across the lake to the spot I was in earlier where I'm pretty sure I lost a giant. Of course when you lose them they're always giants, but it did seem like a legit big one. Um, only about 20 minutes left, but where I was in was dead and it was just depressing thinking <laughs> thinking about finishing up in an area that I knew was dead so I had to come back somewhere where I used to have a shot of getting one more. I don't know if I should be throwing my jackhammer or Chapo but Chapo got me a lot of bites after two yesterday so Might as well give it another shot. <laughs> Ten minute left, alarm. Alright, that's all she wrote. Ooh, here comes the wind. I hope you'll be able to hear this. Um, yeah, only finished with the two. Two good ones, 18 and a 17. Um, fished my butt off until the until the closing bell and uh, just could not find anything else. It was a tough day. Didn't even look at the standings because I don't until I get five and I didn't get five. So uh, hopefully Arledge or one of our other guys or gals um, did well, finished in the top ten or took the whole thing. We'll see. Um, Gonna go unload the kayak and head over to the award ceremony. See how it goes. See how it goes. I always say see how it goes when I turn off the camera. Oh, I'm delirious. I'm done. I'm cooked. See how it goes.
for $2,200. With 84 and three quarter day one, 83 and three quarter day two, with 168 and a half inches, Matt Kern from Colorado. Yeah! Colorado. That's like a whole other country from here. <laughs> you gotta drive across that flat place. <laughs> Get over here and talk to me. Tell me you caught him on a whopper plopper next to the next to the boat ramp. Spinner one. I like this guy. Uh, Viper EJ. All day through it. What brand? Um, Jack Hammer. All right, get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> the guy trailer you got on? Uh, Rage Manus. Not a diesel man. Nope, not decent enough. Not lying. Did you catch a lot of fish or a few fish or just enough fish? A lot. I upgraded most throughout the day. Probably 30 on day one, 25, 30 on day two. It, it was a dink fest again. Anybody you want to thank? The club? My parents? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Great job. Second place, taking home five thousand dollars with eighty-seven and three quarter and eighty-three and three quarter with one hundred and seventy-one and a half. Chad Davidson from Missouri. And no, that just didn't cost you. First place, ten thousand dollars. What time? Yeah. Eighty-four and a half. <laughs> 90 and a quarter for 174 and three quarter inches. Cole Sykes from Arkansas. Good morning. Here we are, morning after the classic, driving home, talking to you instead of paying attention to the road because. I'm driving the entire length of Kansas, and anybody who's made that drive knows you need to find ways to occupy your time. So I'm just going to do my little wrap-up video now, instead of waiting until I get home. Uh, huge shout-out to Matt Kern from Colorado Kayak Fishing Club. Fourth place. That is awesome, dude. That's badass. Great job. Um, it's great to see everybody from both clubs out there. Colorado Kayak Bassmasters and Colorado Kayak Fishing Club. Uh, we had a strong contingent out there, um, had some people do pretty well. I finished in 100 and, and now I'm forgetting, 117th or 107th, I think 117th. Uh, so not great, but you know, it was my first time, first time on the lake, um, you know, and I had a great time. That's, you know, so I would definitely do it again if I qualify again next year. Uh, I guess lessons learned, um, practice, time on the water is huge. Um, you know, I only had two days of practice. I uh, didn't figure out a ton. You know, I got a, I got a confidence spade, you know, through a jackhammer most of the time. But I think it made the mistake of once I found one bait that worked, just sort of sticking with that a little bit too much during practice rather than trying some other stuff to see what else might work. Um, you know, listening to the guys who finished at the top when they talked about what they were throwing, if they were telling the truth, which isn't always the case with tournament anglers talking about how they caught them, let's be honest. Um, but let's assume they were telling the truth, and some of them caught ways, caught fish uh, with techniques that I honestly would not have even thought to throw there. So, um, you know, that was, that was a good lesson, you know, just try try different stuff but again I didn't have a ton of practice time um, if I do it again next year I'm gonna try to go out for a full week try some different areas of the lake I really only saw three three areas uh, and one was completely dead so um, you know more practice time try different baits uh, as far as moving spots day one I launched from where did I launch from TT ramp, T-bow arm, um, and I'd got my limit there, and it was decent, but day two, I figured I wasn't in contention, so 
I didn't have to play it safe, so I went to look for bigger fish and went to, uh, what is it called now, Windsor Crossing. And I did get bigger fish, I just didn't get, get enough of them. So, you know, I don't regret it. I did find those bigger fish I was looking for. I just, you know, needed a few more of them. I got an 18 and a 17 on day two, and then a few 11 inches. So, didn't make my limit, uh, which really hurt me, but, you know, it was still, still a fun time. It was windier, it was a little bit chillier on day two, so I'm sure the bite changed, but, you know, it's all excuses. Uh, I just didn't execute. It's a great lake. All American Kayak Series puts on a great event. Um, looking forward to doing their Kansas Mind Land event later this year. Maybe Minocqua as well. I'd love to try to make it up to that one. I don't know for sure, but um, it's in a month where we don't have any local tournaments. So if I can get the time and the money, I'll, I'll make the trek out there to Wisconsin and, and check that one out. A uh, special shout out to Alex Rojas and Matt Collins for cluing me in to a couple things after I had a really rough day two practice and my confidence was shot. I saw them at the check-in and uh, they gave me a couple clues. You know, they didn't tell me exactly where to go or exactly what to throw, but you know, they just gave me a couple clues and really helped me out. That's, uh, that's something great about our local clubs is that guys aren't afraid to do that, to tell you what's working. Uh, if you're struggling. So, uh, huge shout out to those guys. Really appreciate it. And same thing goes for my CKB squad, uh, Gene Campbell, Tim Van Sickler, Corey Doyle, Kenny Hood. Uh, you know, we had a little group chat going. Of, again, not giving exact coordinates or exact baits or anything like that, but just sort of giving each other clues as to what was working. And, uh, you know, it was really great just to, just to have that, that sense of local community out there. So that's a wrap on the 2023 All-American Kayak Classic at Truman Lake in Clinton, Missouri. Again, I had a great time. Love to do it again. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Get after them.